Welcome, Dale Gratton here. Today I'm going to show you on how to update your Raspberry Pi running OSMC. A couple of things you're going to need. One is the zip file that is going to be obtained from the link I've provided to you. You need to unzip those um, folders onto a formatted USB stick. It needs to be 512 megabytes or more, so um, that shouldn't be a problem for most people. You need to format your memory stick to FAT32 and not NTFS because I'm not sure whether NTFS is um, readable from this operating system. So FAT32 definitely works. Give your memory stick a name when you format it of USB in capital letters. That will help you follow this video very, very easily and you won't have to make any changes to what we type. So we're going to plug the USB memory stick in. You're going to need a keyboard connected to your Raspberry Pi or a USB keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard, anything like that, that you've got characters you can type with. And so here goes. I'm going to plug in the USB stick now. And hopefully in a few seconds in the bottom right hand corner, we've got a notice to say that the device is connected. So um, we're going to go down to the power button in the bottom left hand corner down here and select OK. We're going to press exit, but before we do, we need to make sure that we are ready with the escape button on your keyboard, whether that be a standard USB keyboard or something similar to what I've got here. So we're going to click OK on exit. I'm waiting for the blue logo to come up with OSMC. Sometimes this can take 10 seconds, sometimes it can take up to 30 seconds. Black screen, any second now, we're going to hit escape. If you press escape too many times, you'll get this funny uh, to the power of and an open parenthesis on the screen. Just press delete if that does come up. And we're going to log in with OSMC, which is the username. And the password again is OSMC. I'm going to click OK on that. And if you've logged in OK, you should get some kind of prompt. Now, we're going to just make sure that the memory stick is definitely in place. And we're going to type LSBLK and we're looking for the size of your memory stick. Mine's 128 gigabytes and mine is mounted at media forward slash USB. So we need to change the directory to that. So CD for change directory forward slash media. And then it is case sensitive, so you need to type it in capitals if you've named it in capitals or lowercase. So what I've typed here needs to relate to what's typed there on your device. Bear in mind that mine is a 128 gigabyte USB stick. Yours might be 32 gigabytes, so just be careful that you get the right one. It won't be certainly boot. It will be forward slash media, forward slash whatever you've called your stick. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to press enter. And we're just going to type ls, just list what files are actually there. Not in capital letters, of course, because that won't work. And we've got them folders that I've copied from the uh, zip file provided. And we're going to copy those now to the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. CP for copy, space, dash, R, recursive, space and we need to do a star this is quite tricky with one, one hand on the keyboard star that's for all them files and they need to go into the forward slash home forward slash osmc forward slash dot and that is a full stop there on the screen k o d i okay if we're happy with that and press enter, what will happen is you will see no progress on the screen. But what you will find is that you can't type in anything else if you type that incorrectly. So please make sure that it reads something like that. Spaces in the correct places, etc, etc. I'm going to pause the video and hopefully in a couple of minutes time we should be backed with a command prompt. OK, just a few minutes have passed and this process could have taken you anything between sort of two to five minutes to copy the information from your USB stick across to your Raspberry Pi. Next command we're going to issue is a reboot and that's simply reboot, R-E-B-O-O-T, P 
get my keyboard up. And we'll click and press enter. And that should be it. Uh, Raspberry Pi should reboot with uh, the new apps. Once it's done that, remove your USB stick and uh, probably want to format it to uh, use it back on your machine. So there you go, that's the process for updating your Raspberry Pi.